Hi YouTube, um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview of the Bang & Awesome 9000 uh, with intermittent laser issues. Um, I've had mine now for kicking on, God bloody hell, show my age, 18 years now. Um, and what would be in CDs, um, it doesn't get played that much. So recently looked to uh, move the CD player off of the wall and put somewhere else in the house, but thought I'd fire it up and uh, just uh, use it before I took it down and lo and behold, the CD didn't want to pick up um, and did a bit of a jud judder and dropped and then said load CD. Um, been on YouTube, there doesn't seem to be any videos on it at all, um, but it seems to be quite an easy issue to solve, yet most people seem to feel that it's a laser replacement, which you know your unit's better than anyone else and if you've excessively used them, then potentially. Um, but mine being... Um, owned by myself and not used that often. I knew it wasn't a CD replacement. So what I wanted to do today was just show you how I went about taking it apart um, and giving the lasers, etc., a clean because there just isn't anything on social media or um, on YouTube, etc., to show you how to do this. Um, so I'll show you the unit first. As you can see the unit, I've taken the glass off already um, because trying to do that with uh, filming at the same time is gonna prove difficult. Um, obviously you press the, the, the lift button um, and at the very end here there are two lugs with two allen key holes there and I think they're size 5. Um, Anti-clockwise them out, uh, they do become quite stiff. Um, hold the glass at the same time obviously because the glass is going to be at that point up in the air and obviously as soon as you do it it does fall. Um, grab hold of the glass, undo those lugs, go through the obviously stiffness. Um, and very, very easily it pops out. The glass itself has got ends on it. Look, look very, it won't even focus. Um, it's got ends like that, basically. So um, you take the glass out and then you're obviously left with this. So everybody recommends to turn the power off for obvious reasons. Um, the disc itself, um, depending on which way you're using it, I mean, mine was on the wall up um, parallel. Um, you've got the actual name, Bang on Awesome, in, in, in one angle on the disc. To take this off, you technically turn this around to the point where it's upside down, facing level here. So, what, nine o'clock? Um, and basically, that comes off. Then you're left with this. Um, and this piece here, I, you know, it looks like it's solid aluminium, but it's not, it's plastic. Um, and there's no screws anywhere around to find out how to get that off. I just went with it and just pulled it upwards on both sides. And it seems to be quite flimsy in the middle, so do be careful. Should be a two-handed job, really. And that pops off, as you can see, plastic. Put it somewhere safe because it's quite flimsy. And then you are presented with this. Um, the first thing that you can do is this disc, plastic disc, can now pull outwards. He says, one-handed. Again, put that somewhere safe. Um, and the next thing you need to do is just undo that screw there and that screw there, but obviously power off, because obviously this is all now live. So you take those off, which we'll do in a second. Pull the power out. Power hard to get in with one hand. Certainly harder to get out with one hand. Okay, it's your power off. Um, and technically, this is still quite stiff with those two screws in. So what you're going to do by undoing these two screws is to enable this to hinge up slightly. Okay. Um, we should normally take the CD out first, but being unprepared as I am, I haven't. Very short screws. I just put mine up there. Um, and then with a flat headed screwdriver, you can just literally, this little piece here, you wanna get that up in the air and take that out. Okay, one side, exactly the same on the other, but this side has actually got um, a small cable going to what I assume is the, is the disc itself. Again, same thing. 
Now, sometimes you may have to use two, two hands. I've had this off already, but that uh, washer that the cable is, is actually on does sometimes move with it. But obviously, because I've had mine off already, it's, it didn't do that. As you can see, that, that's now loose. And what you'll get now is movement. Okay. So again, let's get this out of the way. And as you can see now, you can actually lift that up. Now in an ideal world, we should have had the disc out first. Let's remove the disc. And what you can now see is underneath. And what you're looking for is the, is the just underneath there, just at that point there, which you can't really see because of the darkness, there is a laser little round bit of glass and what I've been doing is literally earbud I did actually have some record cleaner um, but if you actually use the record cleaner or you know if you don't have record cleaner don't use anything um, spray it onto the bud and then on the bud itself you want to literally go up underneath that little glass and just rub the little glass dome, okay? Do try and get some form of alcoholic um, spirit like this for, um, you know, uh, lasers or, or records, because it does, it does obviously, um, as soon as you put it on there, um, the air gets to it and it just clouds away, obviously. Um, then you've actually got these here. These are sensors for the doors themselves. Give them a damn good clean as well because they get dusty. And that one there and the one very down at the very bottom, they're the ones for the door as far as where all the alignment for the CD. So clean both of those. Then you've also got these little black eyes there. That one at the bottom and that one at the top. Again, clean those as, as, as best you can. And then in reverse, put it back together again and fire it back up and it should work um mine worked first time i've plugged a pair of earphones in put in a classic and it fired up first time 